Hello everyone, you are watching Code Setup Programming and in this video, we will show you how to write the program for week 10, program number 3, problem solving through C for NPTEL. So the question says that write a C program to sort a 1D array using a pointer by applying bubble sort technique. So we have to use a pointer to sort the array elements using bubble sort technique. So the array is initialized as of length 20 n and i n is used to take the number of elements to be taken from the test case and then the next for loop is used to enter the elements in the array then the function sort is called with the array variable and the a number of uh, elements in the array so in the void sort statement we have to write that we have to int insert a pointer which is integer a is int pointer a int n so n will be the number of elements and a will be the address of the actual array variable so next we have to simply just in place of a of i or a of j we have to use pointer of a of i pointer of a of j so that's very simple as you can see that we have to write for loop of i equals to 1, i smaller than the number of uh, digits and uh, the number of elements and for j equals to 0, j smaller than number of element minus i because every time it sorts one number, the pointer will shift forward so that the uh, complexity gets reduced and we get the actual, the sorted array easily. The, this is the main core, for, uh, core uh, syntax of a bubble sort. You can find it everywhere. So if we check the uh, variable, the value at the place of that pointed a of j plus one, a of a plus j is greater than a of j plus one. Means a plus j plus one, the value in inside that address will get compared. And if a of j, sorry, not like that, a plus j is greater than a plus j plus one then it will store the a plus j variable in temp and then interchange a plus j is equal to a of j plus 1 and a plus j plus 1 equals to 10. Simple sorting technique using bubble sorting and we get the required array in sorted form. So let us compile it. My net is not working correctly today. So we have passed both cases and let us submit once again. So before making this video, I have made all these programs and then tested it so that there will be no problem during the execution of the video. Okay, now the program number four. Write a C program to sort a given number given names in ascending order so in this we have to sort the strings for that we cannot use the equal operator or you cannot use the normal thing that we used to do for numbers so for this we have to include a special a special type of library which library which is string dot h which contains the functions like string compare string copy and other sort of things so here we use the same technique as of using two loops which is i equals to 0 i smaller than n minus 1 and i plus plus and i equals j equals to i plus 1 that means whenever there is the element first element in the the first string will be compared to the next string consecutive string if the index of string 1 is 0 then the it will compare it with the string 1 so 1 0 uh, string 0 string and plus is, is compared with the one string so like that it will compare and if the string compare is greater than zero you can find the uh, how it does if if it is greater than zero means the value of the string previous string is greater than the next string it will change the place using string copy str copy function and the same thing we do we copy the value of one number in term and then the num the other number gets stored in the first number and the second number gets the value of 10. Like that we use in place of just equals operator we use a string copy. 
simple and the best part is provided by the compiler so we will compile it and then submit okay so we got one other one test passed next we will go for program number five okay write a safe code to check if a 3 into 3 matrix is invertible a matrix is not invertible if its determinant is 0 so if the determinant of a matrix is 0 it is non invertible and otherwise it is invertible so this is a very complex type of equation for the finding the determinant so you have to check it once you have run you can run it and uh, try to debug it using a compiler and check the how it works okay so the formula to find the determinant of a 3 into 3 matrix is like this the simple thing that we do in math we just call make it in here since it is given as 3 into 3 matrix we can easily just write the statement or, or else we have to make some uh, way to find out the determinant of n into n matrix okay so here is, since it is given 3 into 3 we can easily write the only the case for 3 into 3 and if the determinant is 0 it is non invertible and else it is invertible So here we get 2 out of 2 test pass, 400 out of 100 and this is it for this video. We will post the program number 1 and 2 in the next video since we are not able to uh, get it correctly working in, our, in this compiler. Uh, so we will get it ready before the submission day. Don't have, you don't have to worry about the program number 1 and 2 as we will get it ready before the submission day. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit this like hit the like button and follow our Facebook page Coursera Programming and don't forget to visit our site Coursera.in where you can get other courses or link to all the required pro study materials for searching and sorting, data algorithm, tree structure, linear data structure and many more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.